Arithmetic Mean Good day everybody! This is Teacher Astrid for another lesson of Pinoy Math. Our objectives for today are to define an arithmetic mean, to find the arithmetic means between two terms, and to appreciate and apply arithmetic mean to real-life situations. We have learned that a sequence wherein you are adding a constant number to obtain the next terms is called an arithmetic sequence. Arithmetic sequence, yung sequence na nagdadagdag ka ng parehong number para makuha yung mga susunod na term. We also have learned that the constant number being added is called common difference denoted by small letter d. Ang number na idinadagdag natin sa bawat term ng arithmetic sequence, ang tawag natin doon ay common difference. Idinidenote natin ng small letter d. Given the sequence 7, 13, 19, 25, And 31, this is an arithmetic sequence whose common difference is 6. We have also learned that the formula for the nth term of an arithmetic sequence is a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus the quantity n minus 1 times d, where a sub n is the nth term, a sub 1 is the first term, D is the common difference, and N is the number of terms. Since it has only five terms, then it is a finite arithmetic sequence. The first term, A sub 1, is 7. The second term, A sub 2, is 13. The third term, A sub 3, is 19. The fourth term, A sub 4, is 25. And the last term of the sequence, a sub 5, is 31. In the sequence, a sub 2, a sub 3, and a sub 4 are between a sub 1 and a sub 5. And they are called arithmetic means. Therefore, 13, 19, and 25 are the arithmetic means between 7 and 31. Thirteen is the only arithmetic mean between seven and nineteen. Twenty-five is the arithmetic mean between nineteen and thirty-one. What are the arithmetic means between thirteen and thirty-one? The correct answers are nineteen and twenty-five. How many arithmetic means are there between 13 and 25? There is only one, namely 19. How about between 7 and 25? There are two, 13 and 19. Arithmetic mean or means are therefore term or terms between two terms of an arithmetic sequence. The first and last terms of a finite arithmetic sequence are called extremes. Even if the sequence is not given, you can find the arithmetic mean between two numbers. Let us try the terms 7 and 19. Add the two terms, then divide the sum by 2. What did you get? Is it equal to 13? Take note that 13 is the only arithmetic mean between the two. Do the same with 19 and 31. The sum is 50, and when divided by 2, gives 25, which is the term between them. It is therefore clear 
that if you are to get only one arithmetic mean between two numbers, then it is equal to their average. Ibig sabihin nun, pagkukunin mo yung arithmetic mean, kung nag-iisa lang ha, between two numbers, iaad lang sila at i-divide sa two. If you are asked to find more than one arithmetic means between two numbers, you will have to find the common difference and add it to the first term until you obtain all of the terms or arithmetic means. Kung hindi lang iisa ang kailangan nating hanapin na arithmetic mean, ay nararapat lang na kunin natin ang common difference. Ang common difference ang siyang iaad natin sa first term para makuha ang second term at ang iba pang arithmetic mean. Para maintindihan nyo ang proseso, ay magkakaroon tayo ng mga ilang examples. Example number 1. Find the arithmetic mean between 7 and 13. Dito, iisa lang ang hinahanap na arithmetic mean. Kaya ang gagawin natin ay iaad lang natin ang first term na 7 at yung last term na 13. So, 7 plus 13 is equal to 20. Then, we will divide it by 2. The arithmetic mean between 7 and 13 is therefore 10. You can observe that the common difference is 3. Example number 2. What is the arithmetic mean between negative 4 and 60? It is implied here that we need only one arithmetic mean. Therefore, we get the average. We add negative 4 and 60, then divide the sum by 2. The sum is 56, dividing by 2, we get 28. 28 is therefore the arithmetic mean between negative 4 and 60. Example number 3. Insert three arithmetic means between 16 and 56. Using the formula that we learned from the preceding lesson, d is equal to a sub n minus a sub 1 all over n minus 1. Or d is equal to a sub n minus a sub r all over n minus r. Where d is the common difference, a sub 1 is the first term, a sub n is equal to the n term, a sub r is equal to r term, if a sub 1 isn't given, n is the number of terms, and r is the ordinal of the r term. Kung ang given ay a sub n at a sub 1, ang gagamitin natin formula ay d is equal to a sub n minus a sub 1 all over n minus 1. Pero kung hindi binigay ang first term at ang binigay ay ang second term, ang third term, ang fourth term, o iba pang term, ang gagamitin nating formula ay D is equal to A sub N minus A sub R all over N minus R. Na kung saan, ang A sub R ay yung given na term at ang R naman ay ang ordinal ng A sub R. For example, If a sub 2 is given instead of a sub 1, then we replace a sub 1 by a sub 2 and we replace 1 by 2. Take note that if three arithmetic means are to be inserted between 16 and 56, there will be a total of 5 terms. Using 16 and, and 56 as the extremes a sub 1 and a sub 5 respectively, we have the number of terms n is equal to 5. Solving for the common difference or d, d is equal to 56 minus 16 all over 5 minus 1, giving d is equal to 10. 
the common difference is therefore 10. Gagamitin natin yung formula ng D para makuha ang common difference. Pagkatapos nun, iya-add natin ito sa first term hanggang makuha natin lahat ng arithmetic means. Adding the common difference to the first extreme a sub 1, we will get a sub 2. Repeating the process to a sub 2 and a sub 3 will yield a sub 3 and a sub 4 respectively. Adding the common difference 10 to a sub 1 will give you a sub 2 which is 26. Adding 10 to 26 will give you 36. And adding 10 to 36 will give you 46. Inserting the three arithmetic means, the new sequence will be 16, 26, 36, 46, and 56. Example number 4. Find the four arithmetic means between negative 11x and 24x. Solving for the common difference, we have n is equal to 6 since there are two extremes and four more terms are to be inserted. We will now compute for the common difference d. d is equal to the last term minus the first term all over n minus 1. The last term is 24x minus negative 11x which is the first term all over 6 minus 1. D is therefore equal to 7x. Adding 7x to the first term, which is negative 11x, a sub 2 is equal to negative 4x. Adding 7x to the second term, which is negative 4x, a sub 3 is equal to 3x. Adding 7x again to a sub 3 will give you a sub 4, which is 10x. And adding 7x to 10x will give you the fifth term, which is 17x. Thus, the four arithmetic means between negative 11x and 24x are negative 4x, 3x, 10x, and 17x. Example number 5. Find the missing terms in the arithmetic sequence below. 15 square root of 5, then 5 blanks, and the last term is negative 3 square root of 5. You must insert 5 arithmetic means between the extremes, with n is equal to 7, and solving for the common difference, we have d is equal to the last term negative 3 square root of 5, Minus the first term, which is 15 square root of 5, all over 7 minus 1. D is therefore equal to negative 18 square root of 5, all over 6. And finally, D is equal to negative 3 square root of 5. Solving for the arithmetic means, we get A sub 2 is equal to 12 square root of 5, a sub 3 is equal to 9 square root of 5. A sub 4 is equal to 6 square root of 5. A sub 5 is equal to 3 square root of 5. And A sub 6 is equal to 0. Ganun din ang gagawin natin sa A sub 2, A sub 3, A sub 4, A sub 5 para makuha natin ang ibang arithmetic means. Ang a sub 3 ay 9 square root of 5. Ang a sub 4 ay 6 square root of 5. Ang a sub 5 ay 3 square root of 5. At ang a sub 6 ay 0. Thus, the missing terms are 12 square root of 5, 9 square root of 5, 6 square root of 5, 3 square root of 5, and 0. Example number 6. A quarantine facility started with 15 patients on the first day, while on the third, 33 came. If the trend follows an arithmetic sequence, how many patients were there 
on the second day. This is an example of a problem involving arithmetic mean. Only one term is being asked. Therefore, we are to get the average, which is 24. There were 24 patients that arrived on the second day. To generalize, how do you define an arithmetic mean? Arithmetic mean or means are term or terms between two terms of an arithmetic sequence. How do you get the arithmetic mean between two numbers? If you are to get only one arithmetic mean between two numbers, then you just add them and divide by two. In other words, you just get the average. What will you do if you are asked to insert more than one arithmetic means between two terms of an arithmetic sequence? The answer is, you have to get the common difference and add the common difference to the first term and to the succeeding terms until you complete all of the arithmetic means. Try the following examples. Give the arithmetic mean between the following. Number 1, 37 and 3. Getting the average, you get 20. Number 2, negative 12 and negative 38. Adding them and dividing the sum by 2, you get negative 25. How about 20R and 25R? Correct. The answer is either 45 over 2R or 22.5R. How about between 4 square root of 3 and 10 square root of 3? Excellent. The answer is 7 square root of 3. And finally, x plus 5y and 3x minus y. The arithmetic mean between them is 2x plus 2y. Now let us insert 3 terms between 9m and 21m. Using the formula for getting the D, we get D is equal to 3M. Adding 3M to 9M will have the arithmetic means as 12M, 15M, and 18M. Find the missing terms in the following sequence. Negative 4, blank, blank, and 23. Correct. The answers are 5 and 14. Now that ends our lesson. Again, please don't forget to subscribe to Pinoy Math. Happy learning!